Hi, this is Susie from Kinda Techie Teachers. This is part two of how I teach illustrative math in my third grade class, and this is all about centers. So for example, in my grade level, when I do capture squares, there's five uh, stages that we get to do um, for grade level three. I chose to only do four this year, and I'm gonna continue to only do four because two of the levels are pretty similar. Back here, uh, we've created these little cheat sheets that tell me what stage each piece goes with. So if I'm gonna pull out this one, which I've also written on, on the paper, stage seven. If I pull out stage seven, I can pull out um, the card that goes with it. I know stage seven just needs a spinner that has the numbers six through nine with a wild in it. So that way I know what the kids will need when I pass it out. So I have all my unit summaries up on the wall near my center. So if I'm teaching unit one, section A, I can really quickly refer to it and see, okay, what stages and centers am I gonna use for this section? And then what will I use for the next section and so on. Do you typically have a lot of time to do centers in the classroom while you're teaching? Um, I don't. We have like 45 to 50 minutes of math instruction daily and the lesson takes up most of my time. When do I put in the centers? Well, whenever I have a chance, whenever we have free time, um, sometimes I will do centers instead of math that day. So I might skip a lesson and just do centers. It really depends on how the class is going and what I feel they need. This past year, I did centers very sporadically. Um, it was really hard and confusing to remember which center to do, when to do it, what lesson to do it with. I hated it. But now that I have reorganized it and put everything into bins and organized it where I can just look at my unit summary, know exactly what center I'm gonna need for that unit, I think this year will be much easier for me. And my goal and my plan is to at least once a week or once every two weeks to just have center days where we just focus on the center and don't do an actual lesson. If it's something you could do, I would suggest teaching four days out of the week, out of the, out of the unit lessons and spending one day of the week doing the IM centers. But I also have the kids just come up and just grab a bin, take it to their table when we have free time and they like just wanna play the games over and over again, even if it's not part of the units we're learning. The kids just pull them out, they go and play instead of playing like math games on the iPad. Last tip, put them in a plastic sheet so they can use markers and you don't have to print these out over and over again. And instead of printing the spinners uh, and using paper clips, find some blank dice and put the numbers that belong on the spinner on your die. Easy peasy. Have any questions? Message me. I'll try to help.